Hey, what's up, bro? Cam here. Uh, I recently went to Alabama for a vacation and I intended to do some digital modes uh, just while we're all hanging out by the pool. And my Y cable was broken. It took me a little bit to find, but it was a broken solder connection on the TRS uh, 1 8 jack. And I didn't have any soldering equipment with me. So digital modes was out the window for the trip. So I'm going to show you how to uh, do a little repair. I also found some new jacks that don't suck, which I'll talk about. I'm also going to show you how to make your own very small Y cable. So this is uh, considerably smaller and I'm hoping, I haven't had any issues with it so far, but I'm hoping that because it's so short, I don't need to put a big old chunky toroid on it. So let's jump over to the workbench. So here is my cable, and if we unscrew this barrel, we could see that apart from my horrible soldering job, which is probably why this failed, there is a, there it is, this is a white wire right, right here. That's supposed to be connected up here. It looks like maybe I didn't make it long enough or something, but anyways, when I was in Alabama, that is what caused my uh, Y cable to fail. So I have, I don't think I need to replace this, but I think I'm going to anyways. I've got, I've got a couple extras, so I'm going to go ahead and change that over to this new one. So here we have the new one, same kind of style. I don't really like these. Yeah, so there's a hole so you could actually like, or like a lug on the, <clears throat> what is it? Tip, tip ring sleeve. So on the tip and the ring, it doesn't have a good positive way to mount the cable. So I'd like to find some different three and a half millimeter jacks. These are, I do like these because they are so compact. Some of the other ones, here, let me. Some of the other ones I've seen are more for like temporary and, and prototyping and they're just absolutely gargantuan. So you can use this one, um, but then you have this whole big old block flopping around on here, you know, and, uh, you plug that in, see how much bigger that is there. I just, I'm not a fan of that. I want uh, smaller, smaller is better. Dude, these are the worst connectors. I'm not doing this. I'm gonna I'm gonna look for some better connectors. This is ridiculous. These connectors suck. One moment, please. Alright, fast forward to the next day and through the power of Amazon, uh, instead of using something like this, uh, I got a bunch of these. I got the link in the description. I anticipate these will be better. They are not much bigger. Uh, you can see that here. Yeah, they're not much bigger. Um, but look at how this one goes. So you've got your little terminal here, spot here, and then your tip in there. And it's all very compact. There's not really a good spot to solder to anything. Uh, I like that open. And if we open this one, now I will say that this is just a plastic housing, so I don't know how durable this is going to be, but we will see. But if you look at this, 
Here's your sleeve. Nice big one. You have your, um, I believe this is the uh, ring and then this is the tip. And there's, it looks like uh, a much better place to solder. So I imagine this is going to be a lot easier. So let's get this one going. All right, there's one. this a bit and get this one. Well, this is one of them tricky ones. The wire doesn't want to bend. Give that a second to cool. All right, let's take a look. Uh, you know, it's not the prettiest, but I think this is gonna work. Let's go ahead and uh, close her on up. I'll test it before I put the heat shrink uh, on it. So I'm making my repair video for my Y cable for my G90. I had another idea. Um, this is meant to go and plug into the CE19, uh, which already has a pretty long cable on it. So I was thinking, why don't I see how short I can make this? If I can make it to be something like that. That might make this uh, a little less cumbersome to carry around. Uh, and we'll, I mean, I'll see if I can do it. I've got, I've got extras of these, so I'll take three of them and just play around, see what I can achieve. All right, so I stopped recording so I could experiment with some different wires, and this wire seems to be doing pretty good. This is some antenna wire from my DX Commander, but it is doing the job. So what I'm doing here is uh, tin the pad and then uh, tinning the wire. Smaller, smaller, smaller. There we go. 
That'll work better. I'm actually going to try that. I'm going to bend these together and then I'm going to put a little <sighs> bend these together I'm just going to bridge this joint here. I doubt that this audio is going to be usable at all. See if that works. I just lightly, ever so lightly, not even really crimped, just bent these around just to add some more strength to that. And I fucked up. I, <laughs> I fucked up, guys. I fucked up. All right, I'm gonna see if I can do it this way. Oh shit. I might. All right, this one looks a little better. I've uh, folded these ears together and soldered them, and then just did that, and then tacked that there, and then I'm just going to fold these little ears over a little bit, just a little bit. So testing my original cable, uh, my original repaired cable, if I hit the uh, tune button in WSJTX, you can now see that the, a carrier gets sent right there uh, to my G90. 
So that's fun and all, but that cable's too long. So let's try the shorter cable. Alright, so now we're testing our new improved short Y cable. Uh, we'll just go ahead and tune up here on uh, 15 meters to the dummy load. You can see we got our carrier coming through, and I don't have to use this big old long cable with a bunch of toroids on it now. So, hopefully, this is helpful for you to understand how to uh, repair and even make your own Y cable. Uh, you know, I have improved mine. It's drastically shorter and uh, Hopefully that helps you get on with your digital modes uh, If you saw this bag, uh, this is uh, I just got this from Amazon I'll put the link in the description, but it fits my G90 perfectly and I even have this uh, large Block on the on the back end for a, a homemade Anderson power pull adapter um, it even fits with that in there. So I, I think this was like, I think this was like 15 bucks for a three pack. I'm not sure. I'll put the price up here, but yeah, links in the description for this if you want one. Well, that's about all the time I have for today. And remember why buy it when you can build it. 73.